Hey cats, what's happening? Vos est los? Hey, today the question arises, as was inspired by some of my subscribers. Do you think the annual Sturgis Biker Rally is becoming a giant rub fest? Well, first of all, let's do a few definitions before we even get started on that one. First off, let's define the word rub. Uh, it's a familiar term to anybody that's been riding for a while. Uh, bikers use it to describe, uh, well, it stands for R-U-B, rich urban biker. It's generally wealthier uh, middle-aged males that have the money to go out and buy a brand new Ultra with all the bells and whistles. You know, they got the heated seat and the heated hand grips and the big stereo system and the whole jazz. And uh, they ride in a town like, uh, like they've been in the saddle for 50 years or more. Uh, when truth be known, they don't have any riding experience whatsoever. So uh, that's the definition of what we call rub. I like to call them yuppies, um, which are, which, yup is the young urban professional. So same thing, rub, uh, rich urban biker, or young urban professional. Uh, they're usually people that make enough money to uh, buy themselves into the biker culture. Now I know the first thing you're going to say is that uh, you look like a yuppie yourself. Uh, you look like you're pretty well off. You got a uh, brand new Silverado back there, you got a kayak up here, you're riding on a Harley. Uh, you must have some money. Well I'm going to tell you something. I worked my ass off my whole life to get everything I have and it was no easy chore. This uh, fat boy right here is a 1999. Uh, I paid that off many years ago and it, it wasn't an easy challenge. Uh, wealthy <laughs> by no uh, legitimate terms in any way shape or form. I struggle just like everybody else to keep what I have. Okay, back to the Sturgis Rally. This is the 78th, well, this was the 78th uh, Sturgis Biker Rally held in Sur Sturgis, South Dakota. Now, the Sturgis Rally's been around since 1938, and it was started by the Jack Pine Gypsies Motorcycle Club. Uh, the whole idea at that point was hill climbs, stunts, uh, just a crazy time for bikers to gather and get together. That's what started the whole thing. It started growing pretty quick as a, as a destination for bikers to hit. And it was always the first full week in August, annually, every year. Now as far as I've been told, the Jack Pine Gypsies Motorcycle Club still operates some of the hill climbs and races today. Uh, the club is still active in the Sturgis area. So that's how it got founded, that's how it got started, and it's grown into this thing today that's absolutely enormous. I started going to the Sturgis Rally back in the early 70s. And when I went there, it was uh, more like the Wild West. Uh, it wasn't so organized as it is today. In fact, uh, the... Uh, uh, City Park right there in Sturgis was uh, used for camping. The bikers used to set up camp right there in the city park. Of course, that stuff was put to an end a few years later because it was getting pretty rowdy. But when I used to go there, there used to be uh, rogue uh, campsites set up in almost every vacant field that you could drive by where the bikers would just whip in there and set up camp in a field and it would grow into a little uh, campground of its own and uh, they really didn't have all these organized camps that they have right now and the bikers went there to party and to watch the races. Now when you went into towns like Deadwood or Sturgis uh, there wasn't a lot of these uh, you know facilities that they have today, the modern things uh, but there were saloons and bars there, and they were filled to capacity with bikers back in those days. So today, what you got is you go out there and you find these massive campgrounds that hold thousands of people. They have these huge concert venues, which is fine. You got to love concerts, and they they had some really good bands out there this year, you know. Um, 
they had the, uh, uh, from what I understand, they had Leonard Skinner played out there. Jackal always plays at the Full Throttle Saloon, and uh, uh, Buffalo Chip always has a pretty wide uh, venue of concerts going on all week long. Uh, aside from that, though, it seems like it's all about the money. Uh, vendors set up everywhere. I mean, t-shirts are a dime a dozen. They're on every street corner. And it's just become this great big uh, conglomeration of, uh, of uh, commercial business uh, trying to sell bikers whatever they can. I was just looking at the Full Throttle Saloon, by the way, to rent a cabin there. And they get these little cabins. It's basically like a shed. That's all it is. Uh, over $2,000 for the week. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But they're rolling in the dough, you know. And people will pay to go there. So, what you see now as you go out there, and you don't, it's nothing like it used to be. Nothing at all. Uh, the good old days, it was pretty old Wild Wild West. Today, everything's very, very uh, strictly controlled right down the line. Uh, be careful where you park out there, you'll get a ticket. Uh, watch your speed. Uh, be careful when you leave the bar. Uh, back in the 70s when I was there, they'd walk out of the bar and smash their glass right on the sidewalk and walk away, you know. That's the way it was. It was pretty, like I said, it was pretty wild back then. Today, it's, you're going to see probably 90% yuppies and rubs there. A lot of novice riders, a lot of riders that are on these big ultras. Now, the other thing that, that, that I see a lot of out there is they're trailering in bikes. They're not even riding them to the, to the rally. They're loading them up on trailers, pulling them out there, going to the campground, setting up camp, unloading the trailer, and then they ride around town like, you know, they, they've been brushing the dust off of them like they've been riding uh, for thousands of miles. I did my miles. I used to always be, and I still am, very proud of the miles I put on my bike. Uh, and I was always a proud rider that rode all the way there. I, I believe from here to Sturgis is about 1,600 miles. So uh, that's no easy chore to do in two days. And I, I used to ride it out in two days, get there, spend the week there, enjoy myself, and then two days back. So anyway, do you think it's becoming a rub fest? I don't know. Uh, I suppose there's still some little corners here and there where real bikers get together and do things just like the old days. That's cool too. Uh, but uh, hey, you know me. I like to stir the pot. I like to get some stuff started. So throw it out there. Tell me what you feel. Is it a rub fest or is it a biker rally. Till next time, ride hard and die free.